the combustion chamber is made of a special heat-resistant metal. Its components are designed to be easily snapped together to form the rocket elbow that is used as the combustion chamber. The bottom of the fuel magazine has already been snapped into place. The end cap of the combustion chamber is fitted onto the end of the fuel magazine. Lightly tap it into place with a hammer. The corners of the fuel magazine are bent down to lock the end cap into place. The riser section is snapped together. Close the seam using a piece of wood and a hammer. Next, using vice grips, bend the tabs on the top of the riser section outward at 90 degrees. Center the assembled riser on the bottom of the 20 liter metal can and draw a line to mark its position. Draw a second circle 1.25 centimeters in from the first circle. Using tin snips, cut along the inner circle. Using a square-ended pliers, carefully fold down the metal approximately 10 degrees precisely at the outer circle. This causes the metal to bend exactly along the line when struck with a ball-peen hammer. The riser should now fit snugly into the hole in the bottom of the 20-liter can. Using a straight edge across the bottom rim of the 20-liter can, measure vertically to the bottom of the riser tube. With this measurement and using the fuel magazine as a template, trace the outline of the fuel magazine on the outside of the 20-liter can. A second rectangle that is one-half centimeter smaller is drawn on the inside of the first rectangle. Using a punch to start a hole, cut out the inner rectangle. Once the inner rectangle is removed, make four small cuts from the corners in to the outer rectangle. Fold the edge at the outer rectangle and bend back the metal by striking with a ball-peen hammer. The corners may need to be squared up to allow for the insertion of the fuel magazine. Insert the fuel magazine into the hole until the circular hole in the top of the fuel magazine is lined up with the hole at the bottom of the 20 liter can. Insert the riser and lock it into place by bending up the metal tabs securing it to the fuel magazine. Fill the 20 liter can with a lightweight insulative material like vermiculite, wood ash, or pumice being sure that the can is completely full before sealing it. The combustion chamber is now complete.